back then. Hey, it it was it, it, it wasn't pleasant when you were in the mix anyway. You know, it, 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 it was one of those things, but then the tide changed. Yeah, it did. It did. And it changed my senior year, actually. It did. It did. Yeah. Well, well, welcome, welcome, let me introduce the people. Welcome to 100 Yards of Football. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have the legend of all legends in the state of Florida. <laughs> One of the greatest University of Florida stars in, of all time and one of the greatest NFL wide receivers we know today, Wes Chandler. New Smyrna. <laughs> Welcome to the show, buddy. Thank you so much for having me, Bobby. I appreciate it. You know, it's amazing. This is the first time I laid eyes on you since, I'm going to say, 1988. <laughs> wow. It's been a while. And, and it was the last time we played against each other. You were with that the 49ers. Last time, huh? Yep, that last year. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah so it's been a while, man. I was on my way out the door, and uh, it was time to say goodbye. It was a great it was a great ride, and, uh, you know, I, I have nothing but uh, appreciation for the game Absolutely. and the doors that it opened for us all. Well, I tell you, 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 you hit it right on the head. Uh, we had a great opportunity, and it opened a lot of doors for us and put set us up in life to be where we are today. That's and so I'm, so th I'm so thankful for that. Well, listen, man, let's get into it, man. <laughs> you, you know, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you guys, this guy right here, he was the man. And so, Wes, so let me ask you a question. You're from New Smyrna Beach. Yeah. Play high school ball there. Now, in high school – were you a running back in high school? I was running back in high school. <laughs> Don't even payment. ask me. Don't <laughs> even ask me how. <laughs> but, but I think because you know I, I caught so many balls mm. uh, during my days uh, as a running back uh, mm. at New Smyrna, okay. uh, I was recruited actually uh, by Florida. Uh, to be a wide receiver. Oh, okay. And, uh, okay. Yeah, when I got there, they were loaded. They had so many backs, it was not even funny. And during mm -hmm. that time, you know, back then, mm -hmm. the state of Florida produced a lot of skilled guys Absolutely. on both sides of the ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The running back spot was filled with guys that were mm -hmm. real high school legends that you yeah. read about and that yeah. stories, the myths, the legends, right? <laughs> How fast they run, the things that they had already done. And so right. my fear was there is no way I cannot go to Miami, Florida State, or <laughs> the University of Florida right. as right. a running back. As a running back. Right. Yeah. Because you know, Florida State it. had a lot of guys too. They mm -hmm. Larry Key and those guys had gone on mm -hmm. right. Uh, right. Florida mm -hmm. State. And mm -hmm. uh OJ Anderson was down at in Miami. Miami. That's right. At the time, right. and of course, right. Willie Wilder, Tony Green, all those guys, mm -hmm. Earl Carr. We had we had about eleven running backs who ran sub four four forty. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow! So, <laughs> there was man. no room for me. There. there was no room for you. But Wes, I tell you, I man, barely I, got in at the wide receiver spot <laughs> <laughs> because of the count and the Gaffney boys. <laughs> Oh, hey, listen, you you guys were loaded. I mean, it yeah, was, it was were... amazing the talent. Matter matter of fact, I tell people this story all the time. When I when I committed and signed with Florida State, I looked at the schedule, right? And so I said, well, and I wrote down the teams I thought we could beat. Yeah. And I wrote down the teams that I knew I, I, we can't beat this team. And, it, you know, of course, Florida was at the top of the list. We can't yeah. beat them. They got the Terry LeCount, Wes Chandler, Earl Carr. They got Tony Green, Willie Wilder. They got the Gaffney brothers, you know, yes. uh, so many of them. And I said, man, yes. we, we're not going to stand a chance, you know. And then I, I put Oklahoma State. We're going to get beat by them. They had Terry Miller, who was, Miller. you know, one of the preseason picks to win the Heisman that year. I go, we can't That's beat right. them. And to my surprise, we ended up winning both of those games, right? I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> so it made me a believer, hey, maybe we got something going on here. Well, you did. You you, you really turned the corner. Yeah. And, and, and to me, uh, I saw what was the becoming right. of a fantastic football team. Yes. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And, and I'm a Gator to the day I die. Right, absolutely. Uh, 
but it was my senior year and it's my last year to play Florida State. Mm-hmm. And I was three and oh. Wow. Because wow. I played as a freshman. That's right. Right. That's right. And there was back then we were they were red shirt freshmen because you mm-hmm. still had the freshman teams and the JV teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But I was able to play as a freshman uh, mm-hmm. varsity football. Mm-hmm. And so I was undefeated. And in my mm-hmm. senior year, we get blown out 37, six, something like that. Yeah, I had the most. It was crazy. And it, yeah. It was the only game that I actually missed. Wow. wow. In my college career. Wow. Was wow. Last, the last game of the year, what you know, it is. Right. It's, right? It's, it's a party. Right. Yeah. And I had mm-hmm. to stand there and mm-hmm. see that happening. Right. That's but, tough. Yeah. It, but you were loaded and I could see the transition. Right. From Coming. where you were, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it was on the fast track. Yes, it was. Yes, right? it was. It was on the fast track, and yes. things changed dramatically. Mm-hmm. The uh, the talent shifted. It became mm-hmm. more balanced. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. To the three schools. Mm-hmm. Yes, it because did. Mine became on pretty strong, too, afterwards. Right. But mm-hmm. what you all did, mm-hmm. uh, it superseded what Florida was doing. And even though Florida had some, some hay years, you mm-hmm. know, after I left, they were really still pretty good. Galen Hall. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they they had some some great squads because yes, they, they were still able to allow us to come in, help recruit, mm-hmm. and get some guys in there. Mm-hmm. But you know, you realize when you have that much talent in one state, you mm-hmm. can only sign twenty five. Well, it. Florida had what was called the top three hundred. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you only need. 75 to satisfy the three schools at right. that time. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, right. and so you, you know, it, it it was amazing to me to see you all then mm-hmm. the skill mm-hmm. at every position, mm-hmm. running back, court, mm-hmm. court, even quarterback, mm-hmm. uh uh receivers, DBs, mm-hmm. linebackers. Mm-hmm. I saw Florida State starting to just pile up, yes. especially on the secondary. Yes. <laughs> Well, you know, it's amazing because that group that we had your senior year, Bo Jack at corner, who I play behind, um, Nat Terry at free safety, yep. Mike Kincaid at strong safety, and Ivory Joe Hunter at the boundary corner. You know, we had, we had three seniors on the team. And so right. my group, it was about five of us that got a chance to play, you know, varsity. And yeah. um, we got a chance to get in the mix of it you know, a little bit, a little bit each game and kind of feel it, you know, and touch it. And then when those guys left, man, as sophomores, man, we were hungry. We were ready to play. And so well, you were ready to play. We were ready to play. And and we had, in my opinion, probably the most pivotal, the most important recruit in Florida State history in my class uh, with a guy by the name of Ron Simmons, the All-American Nose Guard. Oh, and no so doubt. He came in no and doubt. started as a freshman. Yeah, you, making noise. And the rest of us was hungry to play. We all played at a high level in high school. You know, me and Chris Collins were about each other in high school, and we we're both quarterbacks. That's um, right. He, he had Tyler's Bell right. at Atlantic, Atlantic High School. And so we got a chance to feel each other before we got there and wanted to beat each other when we got in college. And so, oh, and Chris, the most of, Wes, the most amazing thing about Chris, Chris won the state 100 yard dash our junior year in high school. Right. Now, listen at That's this right. now. Now, the top 12 sprinters were not in the race. And it's not an excuse. He did win it, but he won with a time of a 9 8. 9 8. Nine, which eight. Would, I remember that. Which would have not even got him to the finals had everybody been in the race. <laughs> but he won it. He won it. And we can't take that away. He won it. Well, well, and then his fo- high school football team, because of that, became the number one team in the state. Astronaut. And so it was all about college work. And he played well. He was a great football player. He played quarterback. He played safety. I played quarterback and played safety. And we played them in the semifinal, and we won the game. And that started him and I competing. And then that year in the state track meet, everybody there waiting on him. We're looking for him. <laughs> Wes, he didn't, he didn't even yeah. run his senior year. And it was a smart you, move you, on his heart. It was a smart move. He shouldn't have run. He, but he you know what's crazy? Uh-huh. 
you know what's crazy? What's that? My my senior year of high school. Uh huh. I'm already going to Florida. Uh huh. In the semifinals of the state, guess who I lose to? Who? Titusville astronaut and those young kids, Chris Collinsworth. What? <laughs> yes. And then, and then my my junior my junior year, I'm at Florida. Right. I'm helping recruit, right? You know, you my junior year, I'm gonna be a senior. And guess what my recruiting area is? It's Tyson. astronaut. As, <laughs> well, I'm trying to recruit him and Wilbur Marshall. That's right. right. That's to, right. To come That's to Florida right. because Wilbur's an underclassman, but Chris is going to be a senior. That's right. That's right. So I get uh -huh. to play with him my senior year. My senior year. And right. Even though he won the hundred at nine eight, he's uh -huh. also in the record book now as a freshman for being tied with the longest uh, football in, uh, touchdown in NCAA history. Really, he threw a ninety nine yarder against Rice. Wow! And I'm wide open. I run a slant. They blitz. I run a slant, and if he throws it, I walk in. He threw it to Derek Gaffney. <laughs> no, he didn't. Are you kidding me? 99 yards, yes. 99 yards, touchdown. 99 yards, touchdown. Hey. What can I say? Right. Say? And, and, and awesome. you talk about, well, the competitiveness is oh, even man. greater than that because uh, we also recruited a kid who was considered, he was the national discus and shot record holder, Doc Lucky. Not lucky. Not lucky. And yes, sir. when we recruited him, guess the only person he wanted to be better than was Ron Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ron Simmons, it. right? I love it. I love it. It was Ron Simmons. And I'm saying oh to my myself, God. this is too competitive between yes. two football teams. It, it is. And, and, and But it made, it, it was so good in the state of Florida at that time. Because a lot, a, yeah. well, a lot of people don't understand, Wes, and you, and you know, back in those days before we truly integrated the Southern colleges, right? A lot of our yeah. talent was leaving the state. I mean, Elvis Peacock go to Oklahoma and play, right? Oh, we yeah. had guys, oh, yeah. yeah, from Miami. He leaves Elvis Miami. <laughs> right. He leaves so, Miami. Yeah, he leaves Miami and go all the way out there. And so you got all these guys, and Oklahoma had their hand in Miami in a heavy way, right? Yes, he did. And so my buddies that, and from Palm Beach County, uh, Ricky Jackson went to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Anthony Carter went to Michigan. Anthony yeah, Carter went to Michigan. All, all those my buddies, Carlos Carson, at least Carlos stayed in the SEC. Oh, he went to LSU. Yeah, he goes to LSU. He went to LSU. And so, but most of my guys, they got out of town. And um, and so, but when we got a chance to harvest all that talent in the state of Florida, now you see Florida State playing well. You see the University of Florida is playing well. And you see Miami is on fire. And all yeah. the national championships we won between those three teams when we kept that talent home. It, it was an amazing thing, man. Kept it home. You kept it home, and I was really, really surprised mm -hmm. um, because when I started coaching pro, mm -hmm. I ended up with a kid from Miami. Mm -hmm. He should have been at Northwestern, mm -hmm. uh, at Miami Northwestern High okay. School, but he was a gifted kid, mm -hmm. so he went to another high school, and he ended up being at Pitt, wow. Antonio Bryant, Antonio Bryant, wow. Wow. Uh, and he was our first selection in Dallas in the second wow. round. Unbelievable talent, Unbelievable. and I'm still amazed, right? Because Miami didn't recruit past Fort Lauderdale, exactly. <laughs> and I'm exactly. like, hey, yeah. think about it, right? Exactly, unless it was an offensive lineman, right? You Somebody, know, other right, than right. that, right? They were, they were, they were locked in on Broward and Dade County, they were That's not true. going any further north, they didn't go that, they didn't go far. You know, People it's amazing, don't realize that, right? It, right. That's, but that, but think about it though. When you talk about the city of Miami, we talk about Dade County by itself. That's a lot of that's a lot of schools, a lot of football. That's a lot of schools. And if you can yes. recruit, if you can win the recruiting battle in Miami, you, you, you're gonna have a pretty good squad. <laughs> now you know what, you know part of the recruiting battle. If it wasn't Miami when we were coming along, it was uh -huh. Duval County. Rain, rains and rebound. Rains and rebound. <laughs> hey, bro, 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 I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. Yeah. This. I had your boy on the show a few weeks ago, Terry LeCount. And so the first time I heard uh -huh. of Terry's name, I was a sophomore in high school. 
and I qualified for the state track meet in a relay. And so I used to read all the magazines, right? Mm -hmm. All the, the fast guys. And, <laughs> and so when I got there, I knew about, I knew about Mac Tear. I knew about um, all these different guys that were running. Mike Robeson at Winter Park and the yeah. Johnson Twins yeah. at Br Brandon in Tampa. I knew about all those guys. James Brown at Daytona Mainland. You know James, James Brown. James Brown and, and Stanley Harris. Yeah, all those guys, right? And so I'm afraid. They started telling this story about this guy the year before named Terry LeCount who was running a quarter and they shot the gun and he fall on his face. He down. gets up and he stumbles and fall again. And, and he up. got up and ran everybody down and won the quarter. So that yes. story, that story was being told by, I'm like, man, that's crazy. So my eyes this big, right? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> and then yes. I'm at the track meet Friday night, 1A and 2A was running and Mac uh -huh. Tier breaks the world's record in the 100. Nine, West. nine flat, right? <laughs> well, my eyes was like, what am I going to do tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this, right? Know, right? And so, but Reigns High School, you talk about Terry, you talk about Kenny Burrow, you talk about Harold Carmichael, <laughs> you talk about Daryl Dawkins. Man, all those guys went to Reigns. Leonard all those guys Rock, were Leonard Truck Robinson. Uh, yeah. Jackie Flowers. Kenny Burrow. I mean, Kenny, I mean, they all were there at Reigns. What a great high school, yeah. man. Duval County. <laughs> Unbelievable. Duval, Unbelievable. In the midst, it, it, yeah, I was, you know, when, when I finally got to Florida, that's all I heard. It was man. Jacksonville Reigns. And how they had dismantled Reebok, right? <laughs> and that if you ever really wanted to go to a track meet, go to the Bob Hayes relays. Bob Hayes, absolutely, <laughs> right? absolutely. You're gonna see it all right there. You're gonna, you're see, gonna it see it all right, right there. Oh right. God. And I was that's, like, that's wow, amazing. I can't even believe, you know, I couldn't believe the talent that was coming out oh. of that city, but it was real, right? It was amazing. And I'm like, it was amazing. Oh, so they only have two. Two, two Gaffney brothers, and they're like, no, it's like five or six of those guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let me ask you a question. So when we talk about the Gaffney brothers, were you ever in school with Don? Don was my quarterback my freshman year. So he was he, he was a senior starter. that year? He was a senior that year? He was a senior. Yes. Wow. Man, listen. Listen, he, he's a legend, man. I wish I could meet that man one day. He's a legend. Oh my. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He's great work. <sighs> oh, you talk about all the accolades uh, of, of a quarterback, all the nuances. Uh, he yes. had that. Very gifted, very, yeah. very smart quarterback as well. Mm. Wasn't very big, but oh my goodness. Oh man. Uh, he real leader. I had so much respect for him. Mm. That's um, awesome. Even, even then, he, he sort awesome. of reminded me. Of, of some guys that I played with later on on the professional level hmm. that were small, but very intelligent. Joe wow. Montana had that, but he didn't Joe have had. that athletic ability in the footwork. Wow. Uh, and wow. Don had a quick release. Mm -hmm. I mean, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. well, rifle as an arm, but he was also mm -hmm. very, very smart. And very intelligent. had a leadership qualities that you wanted. Yes. Well, you got to have that at the quarterback position. You got to have a leader in that. But I, I tell you, yeah. I, I watched I watched him as a kid because I played quarterback my whole life, like I said. And um, I looked up to that guy, man. He, he was an amazing player. He was an yes, amazing he was. player. He was an amazing player. So look, man. So it's amazing that when you when you were at Florida, y'all ran the wishbone. Am I correct? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? And and you were a wide receiver in a wishbone offense. And yeah. But, but but even with that, it showed a lot about who you were as a player because everybody knew about you. And if we and, and people knew if you got so concerned with the running game, not only are you gonna get beat, but we're gonna put up six points <laughs> with you on the outside. Because when I look at some of your stats, Wes, you caught 92 passes for 1963 yards. And a school record 22 touchdowns. We, we're talking about in the run order in the offense, which is just amazing. 
So you had to be hungry and ready to catch the ball and do what you did. You had six more scores rushing the ball and on kickoff returns. Yeah. Right? Set it, the school yeah. set the school record for total TDs with 28. You led Florida in receiving 75, 76, and 1977, right? Yeah. And a wishbone offense. It's the most amazing thing. But here's a here's the thing that I say about that. Because when you think about how the game has evolved to the day, right? Yeah. People throwing the ball almost every down now. You still hold, you still hold a Florida record in average yards per catch, 21.3 per catch, and TDs to reception ratio. One TD for every 4.18 catches. Man, that's amazing, man. That's, I appreciate am- it. Uh, that's you, amazing, you, bro. That's amazing. You, you, you know, Doug, Coach Dickey got, you know, he, he, I saw him uh, two years ago at the, uh, at the uh, golf tournament uh, okay. that we, that we uh, put on for mm-hmm. uh, the first two black African-Americans to ever play at Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, to this day, I'm still grateful because right. my senior year, Mm-hmm. I only caught one ball as a freshman. What? So most of my catches were, yeah, it was the last game against Miami. Wow. It was the last game against Miami. That was my wow. only. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> so here I go into my sophomore year, junior, mm-hmm. junior, senior year. Mm-hmm. Well, I finished the first, the last six games of the season as a running mm-hmm. back. Wow. Okay. Okay. We run running morning, he said. Well, the two quarterbacks actually would be receivers, Collinsworth and, and LeCount. <laughs> Those were the two quarterbacks my senior year. And he said, wow. we can't get it to you. We're running in the wishbone. We got Earl Carr at fullback, <laughs> Willie Wilder at halfback, Tony Green at halfback. We, you, we got you out there, but we can't get you the ball. So right. I'm going to move you to running back. Running back, right. I said, I'm going to bethune Cook." I said I'm going home. I'm going to Bethune to the house. <laughs> There's there no I'm way I'm going to. I'm packing my bags. I'm packing my bags right now. I'm going home. Oh, that's crazy. Right? You know, that's crazy. Right. That's and, funny. Uh, man. Sure enough, I ended, up, I ended up playing running back, you know, my half half my senior year. And right. I, and I'm grateful. He knew more than I did. Right, 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 right. Uh, and it, it, well, he said, you've shown your real value. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Uh, that you, and, and so if you're going to go to the next level, show mm-hmm. some value. Show some value. Well, Wes, I can tell you this right now. You are amazing with the ball in your hands, man. You know, you, you got a lot of receivers who can run routes and catch balls. But after the catch, you were special, man. And so, you know, that's your background. I mean, you played running back in high school, <laughs> running back in Pop Warner. And I know, I know, without even asking you, Wes, what street football was like in New Smyrna, right? <laughs> I know what that was like. So, so I, you you just had the skill to do great things, and it showed, especially when you got to the NFL, because your all-purpose yards. I mean, you were one of the top players of all time in the NFL when it comes to all-purpose yards. That's because you were good with the ball after the catch. That, that that it's God's grace, and Amen. I won't hesitate to ever say that. Yes. I think that because sometimes we get tied up as as athletes and what we do, mm-hmm. you know, we, we appreciate you know what we've been able to accomplish. But mm-hmm. when you take a closer look, sometimes it happens so fast yes. that you can't. There's some things that can't be taught, and that's instinct. You there can't you teach instinct. And that's so, right. is it you or is it God's grace that puts you? Your natural reaction, right? Yes, um, and so for me, you know, uh-huh. everybody used to take that trip. We used to go down to Ocala the night before when I was right. in Florida, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you know, the night before the game. And coming back, I would always pray, mm-hmm. you know, Amen. God give me mm-hmm. the strength to do what I did last week to make it yes. even better this week. Yes. Uh, and so I was grateful. Not Amen. only that, I had eight ministers in my family, so they were never going to allow me not to show oh. my appreciation. Yeah. <laughs> I love to show it. my appreciation for, I love for it. who I was as a person and to keep, always keep me grounded and keep me in character. Amen. So Amen. Amen. God's grace afforded me all of that. 
that's good stuff, man. You know, you you come from the same background I come from, and my father was a pastor. From the well. south. Oh, I'm I'm south. Hey, right. hey, bro. hey, we better be praying. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh, Southern Baptist kid. Oh my God, yes, sir. So, but Wes, you you were you know we start you know to talk finish your college stuff. You know, I, there were some things I was really impressed about. You know, all of us were. You know, we made all conference and some of us were all Americans, but of course you were all Southeastern Conference um, in 76 and 77. You were all Amer first team All-American in 76 and 77. But here's the thing that really impressed me, man. You My were first team academic All-American, brother. My greatest you were, accomplishment ever. Yes, you were a first team academic All-American, bro. And I, I know with the football schedule, especially the way we had it back in the old day, when when football coaches can keep you as long as they wanted to, to be oh, an academic, yeah. to be an academic All-American, man, you had to, man, you were putting the work in, bro. And so I'll, I'll applaud you for that one, bro. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's that. I and I won't, yeah. you know, I, I, I won't try, try and throw shade on that. But as mm -hmm. I said, um, we have an endowed, uh, an endowment at the University of Florida for the first black players to ever play mm -hmm. um, back then. And, and so when you look at 1969, mm -hmm. here we come. Right. Well, I was, in, right. you know, my class was 1974. That's right. Uh -huh. Just after. And uh -huh. so. To right. do that in the South, ah, yeah, because you were still getting over some barriers. That's right. right. That's big. And so, and, and and sometimes people will think, well, they gave it to you, athletes. We give you All right, right. <laughs> they were not giving you Florida State, Miami, University of Florida. You were not given anything. Anything. Okay. Anything. Regardless, regardless of the talent that you had. Mm -hmm. And that's so right. that's why I'm really, really, truly grateful. Um, because, you know, with the clear conscience mm -hmm. that I had to get up and go to class because they were not hesitant on sending you back or letting you go, That's regardless right. of what you may have had uh, mm -hmm. as a young black athlete mm -hmm. during That's that right. time. So, That's right. Uh, I'm very proud of it. And mm -hmm. it represents even my teammates who encouraged mm -hmm. us to go to class, get mm -hmm. to the lab, do what you needed yeah. to do. Um, save your family an embarrassment because you mm -hmm. may be one of the first to ever get an opportunity to get a degree or to even go to college. That's right. That's right. And, and Wes, you're so right because, you know, back in the old day, we really had to work for it. Nobody was giving you anything. No. So I, no. I, I, I remember going to school and saying to myself, don't be, a, don't be an embarrassment to your family. And so back then, if if, a, if an athlete would flunk out of school, they would put it in the newspaper. You remember that? They would write you up in the he he failed. That, that's, it was in bold letters. It was in yes, absolutely. Yes. And so that was one of the things I fought for to not embarrass my family that way. So to work hard and do what you got to do, you know, to get yourself um, academically in good shape. And you also won this award called the Fergie the Fergie Ferguson Award as a senior captain in 1977. And that's in memory of one of the greatest athletes in the history of the University of Florida. Am I right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's yes. that's a big time award. I just, uh, as I said, mm -hmm. I you know I, I was so enamored enamored with mm -hmm. I was recruited. It's ironic. I was in high school. I wrote a number thirty three. I'm mm -hmm. being recruited by the University of Florida. I'm also being recruited by Florida State, Miami, and, and several other schools. Mm -hmm. Well, you know you go on this official trip. Well, the guy mm -hmm. that, that rec was recruiting me, my guy was Nat Moore. Ah, so Nat, my man. Yeah. <laughs> my man. <laughs> and, and Nat Moore, you know, Nat Moore, University of Florida, water number yes. 33. Yes. And wow. so... Here he was recruiting me to come to Florida. Here I am mm. at New Smyrna High School, wearing the number 33. Well, I wow. get to Florida. He goes on to the Miami Dolphins. Right. He's wearing the number 89. And guess what number they give me at Florida? <laughs> 89. I love right? it. I love it. So, That's awesome, man. Yeah. And then I fast forward. I end up being drafted by the Saints. And guess what? It's the number 89. 89. Right? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so the battles really began then because, yes. you know, if you ever had to go and play a Don Shula football team, which you're well aware of, oh, absolutely. you know, it, it's a different animal. So it's Nat and I animal. had some private some private things going on with that number 89, cool. I want to tell you. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Well, I, I remember, um, you know, watching you and, you know, all those years. And then, you know, when I got in the league in my rookie year, you were the star running run, a wide receiver for the um, Saints, which is our arch rival in the NFC West yeah. at the time, right? The old NFC West, which the many old, people don't the old with them. Know Say that way, right? old NFC That's West. Right. That's right. That's right. Because That's um, right. in my first regular season game, we played the Saints my rookie year. <laughs> and, you, and you know, Wes, I'm, I was thankful because, you know, in preseason, they played me a lot. I played pretty much the whole yeah. game. And we played five preseason games that year. So I got a chance to get over the fact that I'm playing against guys who played on Sunday that I've looked up to, right? Um, And so, yeah. And so by the time I got to the first game, I was a little calmer, right? And there's West out there. (laughs) You know? And and so here's the good good news, bro. You, you You didn't get me that game for anything, right? So I, I say face, but the second time I played against the Saints, you were already gone in San Diego. I was thinking, yeah, I was gone. I was gone, man. But you know what's funny? You know what's crazy? What? My, my, uh, when I started coaching, mm-hmm. the first game that I was coaching, mm-hmm. guess where it was? Where? It was a preseason game between the Dallas Cowboys and the Atlanta Falcons in Tokyo, Japan. you got to be kidding me. Wow. Um, That's amazing, you. man. <laughs> in, two, in, two, in the year 2000. Wow. Yeah. Oh, That's amazing, man. <laughs> all, the way across, yeah. all the way across the seas uh, to be right at home. Oh, yeah. Home, right? yeah. But, right. man, I, I tell you what, you were – you know, when you were drafted, of course, you were one of the best players in the country, hands down. And when you got drafted, it showed that because you were the third player selected in the entire NFL draft. In the first round, you're the third player selected by the Saints. And but let me ask you this. Being a first round player, being who you were and you go to New Orleans and you had this guy who's your quarterback named Archie Manning. So tell me about that for you. Having Archie manage your quarterback your rookie year. Well, I had to get over the fact that Tampa traded that pick away to they Houston. Did? Wow. They traded it to Houston. They had the first pick. They hadn't won any games. And I'm sitting there thinking that I'm going to be the first overall. Wow. Uh, and there was high emphasis on on me being the first pick. Wow. Going to Tampa and staying home. Mm-hmm. Right. And mm-hmm. um they traded to Houston who ended up with the first pick in 78 and they drafted the Heisman Trophy winner, of course. Earl Campbell. Of course. They drafted Earl. Yeah, wow. Okay, so it made sense for them. And the second pick, you know, we go to go to Kansas City. My my attorney's like, you can play here. I'm like, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't so do this. The, the Saints said, if, you, if you're there at the third pick, guess what? We take you. We, you we're going to take you. Right. We're and so when I get there, I've heard this about the man, the myth, the legend, mm-hmm. all the things that had happened at Ole Miss and that this was a one man game in in, in uh, New Orleans in Archie Manning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I can tell you just watching some of the highlights and some of the old the film when I got there trying to become mm-hmm. a student in the game, I saw what he had gone through in all his years there prior to my arrival. And it wasn't good. You know, he was running for his life. And uh, he was really, really uh, a true warrior. I have nothing but the utmost respect. Now, he used to bring his two kids Uh to school. Okay. Ah, All right. Mm. And so I'm sitting there sometimes. I'm about to get fined because the locker room is quiet. And I'm sitting on the floor and I'm rolling Hot Wheels. Remember the Hot Wheels? (laughs) Little, and the, um, the little uh, rock and sock them type. Right, right, robots. <laughs> and, 
It's a three-year-old kid. I walk out the door with this three-year-old kid. It's Peyton. It's wow. Peyton Manning who I'm walking out with. Right? That's amazing, man. That's yeah. Amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> but, Archie, but, but Archie, you know, you know, he, I have nothing but tremendous respect. Yes. Should have been several times in the Pro Bowl. Yes. Just played no on bad teams. And a lot of times you could be a great player but they were not going to recognize you because your team didn't recognize you. Exactly. I, I, I understand. Yeah. I've definitely done that. Absolutely. Absolutely. But kudos to him. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and he was nothing but 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 a, a real kind person, a, a great field general, um, mm -hmm. just wanted to win. And um, I, I love playing with the man. And, mm -hmm. and again, man, I have nothing but great, great things to say about Archie great. Manning. Great. I well, like I to think I tell people all the time, mm -hmm. I played for some for five five great quarterbacks in my career, no at doubt. least four. You did no in doubt. my in my career. No it started with Archie, and then of course it got better because I, I went on to the Dan and then Montana and Steve Young Montana. finished man. out my career. That's so that's crazy, man. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You, you know, you know it's amazing. Um, getting back to Archie. You know, Archie was one of those quarterbacks that I looked up to as a kid, right? Because he was he was a dual threat. You know, um, yes. you know, Peyton and Eli didn't get all of that. <laughs> no, they didn't do that at all. Archie they didn't do that could at run all. around by time, throw it any right. kind of way, underhand it, you know, any Archie. way. <laughs> yeah. He was making some plays now. He Archie was, was a musician, was, man. He made it happen. He was Lamar he Jackson all over again. Absolutely. He, you hit it right on the head. You hit it right on yeah. the head. And he people, if y'all don't remember it. him, y'all go Google his name, look him up on YouTube, and watch some of his highlights because he was a special guy. Now, let me ask you about this guy. Um, you played with him in New Orleans as well. And I think y'all played in San Diego together, Mr. Chuck Muncy. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. I do the same on the wall here. As a matter of fact, it's right here, uh -huh. uh, and it's called El Coriel, the San Diego Chargers, right? Yeah. Uh huh. And the, and the back uh, for us at that time was nothing, none other than Chuck the great Munster. Chuck Monster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I mean, you talk about uh, myths about big backs, six four, two hundred forty pounds. Big. Chuck Munster, that guy. He was right. That guy. Mm -hmm. And I remember first the first time I ever saw him, my senior year, we played uh, – my freshman year, I want to say, we mm -hmm. played Cal. My first okay. freshman oh, year, okay. we played Cal Berkeley with Steve mm -hmm. Burkowski, uh, Wesley Walker, Wesley Wesley Wal Wal and Chuck. Chuck <laughs> Muncy, and Herm Edwards. That's and right. Herman Edwards. That's right. Yeah. Wow. And, and so, yeah, for the first <laughs> time I ever see this big guy, Wow. Oh my lord. I had no. never seen a back that big. That big. That's right. Right? That's I right. thought that the Earl Carr we had at 6'2 was a big back. Was a no. Big back. Yeah. Muncy, Muncy was an even bigger back. Yeah. Thoroughbred. He was a thoroughbred too. Thoroughbred. Yeah. Could yeah. run. Oh man. Could catch, could throw big hands. Can do oh, it all. Oh my lord. He could do it all. He can do it all. He, he was the real deal. Now, unfortunately. Yeah. He has some issues, yes. You know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sometimes I tell people sometimes the street can off, always offer you more than yep. what athletics can, mm -hmm. and sometimes we get caught up in that, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But in terms mm -hmm. of the the character of the individual, mm -hmm. in terms of his person to person with you, yes. Yeah, great guy. Chuck Monty, I was a friend of mine. Yes. He was a great guy. He yeah, was man. a friend of mine. Yeah. And I'm proud yeah. to say. Uh, yeah. that he was. That's good. That's good, Wes. That's good. That's good. But I tell you, he was a heck of a football player. He was a heck of a football oh, player. I caught four touchdown halfback passes from Chuck Muncy. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty, pretty good. Throw it. Oh, he could throw it now. He could throw, it now. He wow. could throw the football. Man. Yeah. That's great, man. That's great. So, so when you were in New Orleans, you got traded to the San Diego Chargers due to Mr. John Jefferson having contract issues. 
And they end up trading, yeah. trading him to Green Bay. And you end up going to San Diego in that great offense. Wes, you had to say, I have finally arrived. Because that was a wild offense. That offense was what is how is is the reason we play football the way we do today. Do you, you know what's it? really funny? Mm-hmm. Oh, 100 percent At that time, mm-hmm. there were two styles of uh, mainly two styles. Mm-hmm. Uh the West Coast, which is the Bill Walsh um mm-hmm. cords and the in, in the rug and right. all those things. And then it was the number system, right. which is the easiest thing in the world mm. to just you can you can learn the number system in one practice. Wow. You really, you really, really can. Wow. Um, and um, I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. My last year in New Orleans, I, I sat on the sideline mm-hmm. uh, the year that Chuck was didn't want, you know, just felt that he, he needed out of New Orleans. Right. And mm-hmm. I watched him pound us 35 nothing. Wow. And I saw those guys at the Midway through the third third quarter, they had shut it down. Joiner, Jefferson, Winslow, mm-hmm. those mm-hmm. guys were over there laughing. And the, the backups were just wow. getting off tremendously. Wow. wow. And I, you know, I, I had watched them on a Monday night just mm-hmm. dismantle the Cleveland Browns 44 mm-hmm. nothing. Wow. Like they were just oh man. 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 Just unbelievable offense. They had a rookie and Chuck, uh, mm-hmm. rookie and James Brooks. Mm-hmm. Right. That's all right. Dave. That's right. Yeah, We're in the same Dave. class. That's right. Dave. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh and Muncie was the starter and Brooks was mm-hmm. the backup, but he was the mm-hmm. third, third down back. Third down back, and right. They were just they were blowing everybody out. Man. Putting so up when point. I got there, it was like dying and going to heaven. Now it hurt me because I had just built a house in New Orleans. And New Orleans. I was okay. two weeks away from moving in. Oh wow. And uh, my attorney called me up and I said, hey, uh, they said that they were going to trade me. Mm-hmm. Now, I said to him, no, you can't because you need at that time. I had a no cut, no trade. And they needed okay. express written approval in writing. Right. right. Uh-huh. And so I had to sign off in order to be uh-huh. traded back then. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, and he said, before they change their mind, you need to get out the building. But I was wow. so hurt because if you've been in New Orleans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. The, the people. Yeah. You know, when I got caught up in Mardi Gras and all of that stuff, and <laughs> just the people, it was right, a the people friendly man. city, right? Right, right, right. It was right. a people friendly, yeah, they it were, was very, right. very, very yeah. yes. So wow. for me, I just got caught up and hung up emotionally. Yes. And when I looked up, the general manager was already there to pick me up. The assistant general manager was in New Orleans, he was at really? the facility. Wow. And I'm saying, <laughs> younger, I'm like, and wow. so he said to me on the way, yeah, so we get on the flight. Uh-huh. My attorney, uh, you know, encouraged me to do it, and I did. Mm-hmm. I, and I had tears running down my eyes. So we get on this flight, and he goes, you like to play catch? <laughs> and I'm like, well, what kind of trick question what is this? Is that, right? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I like to play catch. He goes, well, that's what we do in San Diego. We play wow. catch. We play catch. And I didn't realize that now. Mm-hmm. I get there. I'm going to go to practice. He goes, mm-hmm. well, when you get in the room, there's a guy sitting by the door, mm-hmm. a man with a hat on sitting next to him. And he can mm-hmm. help you with everything you need. Mm-hmm. Well, I walk in the room. They were already in meetings. Mm-hmm. I said, excuse me, sir, is this seat taken? He goes, no, sit there. Uh, I'll be, be glad to help you. Right. So I'm sitting there and he's telling me, this is what we do. You know, mm-hmm. you run the two as a slant. The two is a slant. Remember right. this. The three right. is an out. Uh-huh. The four <laughs> is a curl. The five is a comeback. The six <laughs> is an in. The seven is the seven is a corner. The eight is a oh, right. The Post, nine right. is a corner. Yeah. Right. And, and he said, if that confuses you, all the even numbers go inside. The out, the odd numbers go outside. Right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Okay, so one is out, three is three is out, out. five is come back, seven is right. a corner. Right. Said so, yes, you got it. And so wow. anytime you hear the number, if you're the single receiver, you get the first digit. Okay. All right. If you if you're the second receiver, you get the second digit. 
If you're the right. third receiver over by the tight end and you're the Z, you get the third digit. The third. If you're the F or the sub, we tell you and the halfback what to do. <laughs> you can play the first day. Yeah. So he you says if you're the X, you're going to get the first number. You get 644. You got wow. the six. Right. Exactly. We go across the board, 644. Four, four, right. Wow. We got no problem. <laughs> So there was, you, didn't, you didn't need a playbook. You didn't need a playbook. I'm getting the crash, I'm, and I'm getting the crash course. What? And so when the meeting was over, he said, you got what I've told you thus far? I said, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Turn on the light. It was Charlie mm -hmm. Joyner. Mm -hmm. Charlie became my mentor. He became my mentor, right? I love it. I love it. And I see Chuck Muncy. He gives me this hug, and I'm <laughs> right here in his numbers. You know, right, big right, guy. Right, right. He's, he's hugging me. And I'm like, wow, it's a great reunion, right? Until yeah. we get to practice. Now, okay. you understand, we were running the ball because we had Chuck Munson and Tony yeah, Gallup right. in New Orleans. Right. right. Mm -hmm. But we were primarily running that eye, eye football yeah, yeah, down, down people's right. throat. Right. So I'm, I'm in there. I'm about 210. Right. Okay. <laughs> and so, yeah, so the first practice, you know how you script it? Right. Well, I didn't understand how they did it. Well, the first 15 plays, you know, wow. practice, it was all aired out. What? We had not run. They, it was all just, and come Rock back. Run. It was no, the only substitute was going to be uh, the back or the third receiver. But the right. two starters, no, you come, you run down, you come, come back, back, get in the house. Like, Let's go. That's right. And I'm wow. like. Wow. <laughs> I see a guy in a sweat jacket, right? And uh -huh. I'm like, it's September, man. What well, you got on that hot jacket down here in the valley? This is Jonah, right? And wow. I'm like, can he keep that jacket on and do this? I'm too dead and I'm dying, man. right? And so on the like the 13, 14 play, mm -hmm. we ran a draw. Mm -hmm. A draw <laughs> play. First running play in practice. And he goes, Coriel goes, That'll keep him honest. <laughs> keep him honest. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my, get trying to my breathe. You trying to breathe? <laughs> oh my god! I love and it. We had 30, we had thirty plays, and we probably ran five running plays. Wow, that's that's amazing, man. That's amazing. It, that's it amazing. was it was a shock. Yes, you know. Yeah. Because my second year, and, and, and I had a, now I'm leading the league when I get traded. Wow. I'm leading the NFC and the league when I get traded. Wow. Oh, that, my that, that was, was, that was Atlanta. tough. My opener mm -hmm. that year was Atlanta, uh -huh. 206 yards. Wow, man. We lose, we lose to Big Ben. The two okay. big yep. Ben's, yep. Atlanta, right. that we, yeah, okay. Jackson. Right. Ben, Jackson. Jack Jackson. Twice that way, right? So the opening yeah. of that year, uh, wow. you know, I have another 200 yard day, but we lose. Wow! Right? And so I'm leading the league. Wow! And That's I go amazing. out there, right? And it's like this is a this is different. Yes. This is put it in the air. In the air, man. This is air for you. That's when I realized what air bombs away. Oh, you're right. Bombs away. Exactly. That's what. Oh, I, that's my. What Exactly. God. And the movie Top Gun had just come out. <laughs> that was shot right there in Miramar, right? Right down the street. And oh, Hell's Angels God. was visiting us at practice, right? God. Not Hell's God. Angels, but the Blue Angels, right? Man. So they, they had this whole thing about bombs away, right? right? <laughs> and Top Gun, the Top Gun was Dan Fouts. Right, right, right. Exactly. Right? exactly. And, his, you know, his bombardiers were his receivers. Right. Wow. Right. And so amazing, I'm like, this is the most unique thing yes. that I've ever seen. Yes. yes. But, it, you know, it's I'm grateful because I've watched mm -hmm. the backs rush for a thousand. I've watched mm -hmm. the backs catch 50 balls. Yep. But I've watched. You know, I never led the team. I led the team in, in yards and touchdowns. I never mm -hmm. led them in reception for seven really? straight years. Wow. Seven straight years. What? Yeah. You never let him yeah. in the year in in, in in 1982, my second year, mm -hmm. I'm the first player ever to have a thousand yards in the first eight games. Wow. 
Did nobody That's talk about that? At 49 receptions, 1,032 yards, and nine touchdowns. Wow. Only played eight of the nine games. Wow. That's right. <laughs> right? Right. But, but Kellen Winslow led our team in receptions every year. Well, I was going to ask you because you, know, you had yourself, you had Charlie Joyner, you had uh, you had Kellen. And Kellen. So Charlie and I would catch 69 apiece. Kellen would have 88 to 90. 88. Wow. Look at that. But we'd have 69 apiece. Right, right, and right. We were always <laughs> right there together at the end of the year. That's, right? that's but I just had to maximize. Unbelievable. It, it really special, was. Man. That's special. And then the, the third receiver – would have 50 catches. The other tight end would have 50 catches. Wow. We'd have That's five people with 50 man. catches. Right. That's crazy, man. And then, and then yeah. you take the show. I, I, now, for me, I remember, uh, and, and, and most uh, mo most America remember, if they were football fans and living back in those days, the great game against the Chargers and the Dolphins. <laughs> in Miami. The, the, epic, epic, the Miami. epic in Miami. The joke. <laughs> and and here, you, here you are coming back home because at the time we didn't yeah. have a team in Jacksonville, right? It was That's Tampa right. Bay and Miami, and Miami was the team. Don Miami Shula was. and the Don Shula. And, the your boy, and, and, and your boy <laughs> and your boy Nat was 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 he still in uh, Miami at the time? He was in Miami. He was in yes. Miami at the time. And here you come back home and you had one of the games of all time. And I'm running back this punt, the first punt in AFC playoff history for a touchdown. And I'm running down the sideline and I see Nat and I got this big old smile. I have this big old smile on my face. <laughs> I love it. I love and it. It's first quarter. And when they look up, it's 24 nothing charges first quarter. Just like that. Right. Just like that. And okay. I'm thinking, okay, this is. This is going to be, you know, one great game for us. But I because they eight one. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. thirty eight to seven. You know, point on. Durio Harris catches a flea flicker. Who does flea flickers yeah. anymore, right? Flea flicker, right? Catches a flea flicker for a touchdown before the half, and they right. bench David Woodley for Don Strock, and he throws ah. four hundred yards. Wow. Don Strzok comes in. Wow. Yeah. And That's amazing. we go into overtime. Yeah. The block field goals and the miss field goals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. It, but that I, was, I was that elated because I was home. You know, yes, just being absolutely. home, just family being home. and friends. Right. Yes. Yeah, and I knew a lot of the Dolphins before. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yes, a couple, yeah, and a couple of things that happened to them because we beat them that year. And we lose in the championship game, but then they come back out a couple years later. They're mm -hmm. 13 and 0. Right, that's right. They come to San Diego. <laughs> and we knock them off. Knock them off. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> we knock them off. The oh, we knock them off, but we, we, knock them off. we have, yeah, we have all these young backs now. We have uh, Lionel mm -hmm. Little Train James. Little Train James, we have right. Gary Anderson. Gary Anderson. Man. Yeah, y'all had some Jim juice, Spencer, man. Had, yeah, we had yes. we had some guys. Y'all had some juice, yeah, man. skill. Yeah. Yes, they, they were really, really skilled. Yes, you know? you, it, and I'm grateful it, it, because, yeah, you know, well, the gratefulness is the fact that I leave New Orleans and here I am, the third overall pick, and they trade away a guy to get mm -hmm. the third overall pick, right? That's got a much bigger contract, right? Exactly right. Think about it. You know, and right. and JJ right. and I are real good friends. Mm. You know, and and I say all the time, had it not mm. been for your agent making those decisions, right? I can't say what my career would have been. Would have been. That's but, true. This is true. But I know what his career would have been. Yes. <laughs> John Jefferson was a Hall of Fame receiver. Oh, no doubt. And was no already doubt. already well on his way to on his me. way. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, he had already right. established himself, right. and he he was a fan base favorite. He was now, a favorite. You right. have nothing to do with the trades, as you know, as a player, right. you have nothing uh -huh. to do with it. But when I right. walked in, the size meant was 
Well, you no, I can't replace John Jefferson. All I can do is be me. Right. You exactly. know, and so don't hold me accountable for what the business right. aspects has right. brought about the football right. team. Right. Um, but, and, but I, and so I, I went through some things in the first couple games. Yeah, you had you know, to. Right. You had yeah, to. Was, right. They had to make me stationary. Right. Um, okay. But I really got comfortable with the movement, mm-hmm. you know, and how the mm-hmm. plays were called, which wasn't really hard. Right, but just to, to to absorb the number and where I would end up being on the mm-hmm. snap and those things, and once mm-hmm. I got that, then it was oh you were oh, good, you were good to go you were good to go it's not fun yeah oh man it had to be oh my god and then to think that Bill Walsh had coached for Coriel, mm-hmm. Joe Gibbs, and that's why the Redskins they did the same system too ah and, okay and the fact that there was a coach at uh, a college, uh, a small college that Mm -hmm. came down and they taught him doing training camp and he Mm -hmm. took it to St. Louis, Mike Marks. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. The the greatest show on turf. The greatest show on turf was. Yes. Wow. Wow. And they duplicated it by, they went and got Marsha Falk to be the Chuck Muncie. Absolutely. Uh Uh-huh. And then they had hope they had hope and um and uh what's his face being the uh the receiver from Fort Lauderdale so, Bill uh, it was just one of those things Isaac Bruce Isaac right yeah Bruce mm-hmm. and Isaac Bruce mm-hmm. and they had Isaac mm-hmm. as the third guy man yeah and, and still <laughs> so people. you know you think about I've the seen, tree, I've seen tree. Tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's been a great, well. Well, think about it. Ernie Zampese left, mm-hmm. and he went to Dallas. Um, mm-hmm. And North Turner used it, but Ernie Zampese went and used it, and they won Super Bowl in Dallas. Mm-hmm. And they that did. was Michael's favorite offense. That's right. The Cowboys Absolutely. ran it as well. They did. Wow! Look at that man. Yeah. So when you think about that tree like that, right? And so it's important when you follow coaches. You know, just look at the tree. And these guys getting opportunities to play, and they implement these these offenses in different yeah. places. And you know, it's a it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. Well, look, man, bruh, I, I'm just so thankful to get a chance to uh, sit here and have this chance to talk with you. And like I say, we hadn't seen each other since 1988, you know. And so I had a little bit more hair back it, then, and no, no gray. No, right. <laughs> You saw me. Hey, you saw me. It's like this time, this old man is going home. And you know what? It's funny because every time I see you or hear your name, you know where it's coming right. from, right? Right. I got. I got to hear. I got to hear because the first time you know I get a call, it's like, well, you know, me and uh, me, me and my man was driving Bobby Bowden's car, and I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, me and Bright. Me and Bright always had Bobby Bobby's car. You know, Bojack. Bojack. Right, right, Bojack. So when I think about you, I can hear Bojack in my ear. Right, right, right. I can hear Florida State and, you know, the whole thing. So when I first was able to talk to you about, you know, health awareness a couple years right. ago. Years ago, right. He goes, I gave you Bobby Butler's number. I'm like, the Bobby Butler, Florida State. <laughs> FSU, baby. He's FSU. FSU. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, man, I tell you, our game, our sport, you, you know, even for those of us who never played together, we have this brotherhood that's so special, man. Yes. And, and I really appreciate you and, you know, all the guys, Terry, you know, guys that I used to just look up to like that and, now we get a chance to talk about how we competed because Terry played for the Vikings when I competed against yeah. him. We, we played them a lot, you know, in Atlanta. And, and it's just yeah. amazing, man. Then we all, we, we just all good buddies, man. We just all good friends. And, right. and, and I'm, I'm, so, I'm so thankful for all the relationships that I have due to this great it's game. A great it's a great it's alumni. A great it's alumni. a great alumni, man. It's nothing like it. So, so look, man, thank you for coming on the show. Brother, I love you, man. Let's get together, man. Let's get together. When you come you back from well. East Coast, when you come back from East Coast, I'll, I'll be back, and I have to come to Atlanta actually 
okay. uh, in a couple weeks. Lorenzo Give me a Spikes call. has invited me over. Okay, cool. I will definitely do that, man. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Anything I can ever do uh, with your show or anything else that you're going okay. on, got going on humanitarian wise, right. count me in. Yeah. Oh, bless you, man. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you, you heard it here tonight. This is our show, 100 Yards of Football, our legend segment. And we had the great Wes Chandler with us tonight. Wes, thank you again so much, brother. God bless you, man. Thank you. God bless you. Appreciate you. Amen. Thank you.